Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. Um, for a king of pentacles out there in the community, uh, you may not be listening to your intuition or your better judgment about a queen of swords reverse in your energy. Um, there's something where this woman is manipulating you because uh, she's angry that you are looking into something or that she's sick to her stomach that you know something or that you want to fix something so there's some type of lie that she's doing to block you from carrying out some type of justice or balancing out some type of injustice because there's some type of injustice that has been taking place and i don't know if you're just now coming into awareness of it or you've known the truth the whole time but you've been in denial or something of that nature um, this woman is very desperate to keep something hidden. So there's something where she's going to start. She's going to try to stop you from taking the action that you want to take to balance something out. And she's going to try to get people within the family. Or I don't know what this is. It could be uh, like a, a, a surrogate family, biological family, whatever it is to go up against you. And they are going to try to sabotage you. I don't know if it's when you are traveling or something of that nature, but there is some type of illusion that they are causing, um, and they've been doing it for a very, very long time. But I feel like you've been privy to it, but you just have chosen to not listen to your intuition, okay? But you need to be careful how you move. I was told to tell you safety first, um, so I don't know if you need to take the football with you to do something. Um, and... The spirit is saying that if you decide to take the purple with you to do something, they're telling me to tell you, you don't you don't get in the rain and then put on a raincoat. You put a raincoat on before you get in the rain. So I don't know if that's going to make sense to you. Hopefully it does. Um, but you may need some type of uh, legal assistance or uh, some type something that has to do with the purple so that you stay safe or something. Because there's a family that's very desperate to stop somebody from receiving something, somebody from receiving some type of information, having a new beginning, connecting with somebody else. I don't know if this is an effort to stop a connection or whatever this is, um, but they're very much desperate to block somebody from having options out here, okay? You may have a wealthy woman now that's going within about a situation. This is someone that's going to be losing quite a lot. Uh, someone that's losing some type of very important relationship or could be losing quite a lot of finances and things like that. Maybe feeling isolated and rejected. I don't know if this is someone that stole something that belongs to somebody else. But she may be a bit of a hermit right now because something is backfiring. Um, something has been exposed. You may have someone that walked away from her. Maybe trying to trap somebody with her as well. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, she's losing quite a lot. So is that some type of information is coming out? Where is that either she stole something, did something illegally, acquired something illegally, um, and it's being taken from her and giving to the person that it belongs to. So whoever this, I don't know what this is, inheritance, whom, land, finances belongs to, they're receiving good news and she's receiving bad news. That means that something is shifting. There's a shift in energy. She's falling from grace. She's downgrading. And whoever the actual thing belongs to is going to be elevating. So it's like somebody takes a house that doesn't belong to them. And they've been living the La Vita Loca in there. While the people that the house actually belongs to. And I'm just using that as an example. While the people that the house actually belong to uh, are living in poverty and things like that. And she don't care. She, she's living her best life. Because this is someone that's very uh, toxic. Uh, very superficial. Very vain and things like that. So... Uh, she could be pissed off as well that somebody is receiving some type of good news about work or that somebody's going to give an energy she's been trying to block uh, some type of F, uh, offer, a deal, contract, whatever this is. And they've been working very hard behind the scenes to block this from taking place. Um, it's almost like someone's stealing from you, copying your personality, taking from you. Um, but in the meantime, they're working hard behind the scenes to make sure that you stay in poverty so that they can keep enjoying 
they can keep benefiting um, off of your disadvantage. So this is what's been going on. And it's not just her. This could be someone that's been paying a lot of people behind the scenes to do something to somebody so that she can maintain some type of lifestyle or keep something that she knows doesn't belong to her. But as you can see, she's out here depressed because she's, she's being put out or she has to move out or she has to leave either a community or a property. Um, and so it's not something that's going in her favor. I think someone or whoever this woman is was expecting some type of good news. Um, that someone had given up, someone had passed away, someone was sick, someone was this, someone was that, someone had gotten off their path, and she was prepping herself to basically maintain whatever it is that she stole or to acquire uh, whatever it is that she's been wanting. So yeah, someone is stuck, she's not able to move on, um, or there's some type of like stagnation that she's been working really hard to cause, trying to block a couple from coming together. Uh, so this could be like a divine union where it's like a divine masculine and a divine feminine are supposed to come together and these people have been working really hard to cause some type of stagnation. She may be feeling like lost her as well because something may have like, uh, ha something has worn her out. Um, it said being, it, it, this has been like a full-time job for this woman. It said the amount of hours she's been working to keep up some type of narrative is ridiculous. Okay. So there are two different women in here, <clears throat> in here, excuse me. It's the one that the actual abundance belongs to. We're going to call it the abundance. There's the woman where the abundance belongs to. The abundance can be a relationship. It can be a house. It can be a land, money, whatever it is. It's an abundance, right? And, um, and she is more than likely independent and self-sufficient or whatever it is because I'm seeing the nine of pentacles out here. And then you have the other woman that's in the reverse. It's in the same energy, but how she got in this energy is through taking from other people. So there's something where she thought the longer she kept causing problems for the person that the abundance actually belongs to, the more chances she would have of being able to keep something that she has taken or stolen, right? So it's like she's getting some type of news that Things are being balanced out. This could be a court case going on behind the scene of your divine being that you don't know of. And someone may be taking action to advocate for you to bring something to your attention. And the people within this community or the family, they are trying to cause problems for this person. So it could even be trying to cause some type of car accident or something. Uh, there's something about trying to cause a natural disaster for a king of pentacles so that he does not make it to his destination to provide some type of information to somebody or to give somebody a contract. As you can see, this is you going uh, to wherever it is you're going because you have some type of knowing now and you want to balance something out so you're traveling, right? Listening to your intuition about some type of collaboration, a contract, a deed, a will, or something that people may have invested in, um, especially when it comes to blocking whoever it belongs to. Um, but maybe you're trying to... Uh, balance the situation, bring justice in the situation, and somebody doesn't want you to, okay? Uh, it may be like a group collaboration behind the scenes where it's like they've been paying to have somebody not be seen. And what I picked up on is exactly what this Queen of Swords reverse that I mentioned earlier has been doing. Uh, she's been paying someone to make sure that another energy is not seen, another energy is not heard, is not known of, or nothing like that. Because there's some type of secret she needs to keep, and it has something to either do with stealing, defamation, slander, um, and this is something that could lead to a really horrible defamation lawsuit, and it could undo an institution with how bad something has gotten. It's like someone, someone goes out of their way to defame you, and in order to keep that secret, they start doing a little bit too much out here to make sure that their secret is hidden, but while they're trying to make sure their secret is hidden, they're they're committing crimes, like giving more crimes, but they think like they're invincible because they have an institution that's attached to them, that's backing them up. So they're misusing their association with that institution to make sure that the truth does not come out. But somehow the truth still comes out. You're protected. Uh, whatever belongs to you is being protected and things like that, right? Um, so you could have all of these people watching you in some way, shape, or form, uh, invading your privacy, doing 
There's a little bit too much, like I said. And if this is because they want to stay ahead of the game, if they know what it is you're up to, they're able to stop it ahead of time. Um, they're able to cause you problems and things like that. So this is what they've been doing. It's like trying to stay ahead of the game. So if they know that like, someone is coming towards you, they'll hurry in and go talk to that person. Tell them a bunch of lies so that that person decides not to work with you or the, not to connect with you or, or whatever the case is. Um, so this is what they've been doing for a long time. But something is still being exposed. There's something... Um, like something is trickling either down or out is what I'm hearing. So it said there was something that was supposed to be kept amongst a select group of people, but it's triggering out. It's coming out anyways. People are finding out within a community uh, that somebody lied on another energy, that somebody stole from another energy, or somebody is jealous of another energy. She's very angry. Like this is someone, whoever I'm picking up on in this community is, is very like reckless. Um, this is someone that comes across as a friend to get what it is they need out of you. Very manipulative, trying to, uh, been causing blockages for another person just to make sure that, again, they're not heard, they're not seen. Like, you know, like somebody steals from you and they tell people that you said they could have what it is that, that is yours. Or that you're not mentally competent enough to manage what it is that's left for you. Only for people to find out it's a lie the whole time. Or... Somebody going out of their way to say that you're sick and this is happening to you. You're homeless, you're this, and then people find out it's not true. What they've been trying to do is cover all of that up. But in the process of trying to cover it up, they've put themselves in a deeper hole and they're not able to get out of that hole. So there's some type of tower that's coming out, coming uh, up for a community. It's quite a couple of towers coming up for a community of people. Uh, they have been working. Yeah, it's a tower coming for them. They've been working very hard just to cause one person a whole bunch of problems. Um, and I, actually, I say to two people a whole bunch of problems because they don't want two people coming together. There is a lot of worry. It, this is a lot of emotions here. Someone is not just having anxiety. They are literally crying behind the scenes because you know the truth. People know the truth. Something's out. Um, there's some type of exposure. They can't pretend anymore. Uh, if somebody is talking about it, they're probably trying to yell at that person and tell them, hey, we were supposed to keep this between us. What are you doing? Don't talk about that. That's, that's private matter. But it's like at this point, it's not private matter. People know. Even if people in this community, let's say they're watching you or something like that, they're trying to block these people from being able to see you. But it's like, how long are you going to be able to do that? Uh, how how much money do you have to pay somebody to keep doing that? It's going to get exhausting at some point, and you're just going to have to let go and let the truth be out because it don't matter how long you spread a lie, the truth will always avail. Um, so you can pay all the money you want to keep hiding a lie. You can pay all the money you want to keep manipulating, keep con uh, being conniving and deceitful, but the truth has its own way of coming out, and there's nothing you can, it usually happens when it's least expected, very much least expected. So you can do all you want to, have all the people in check that you want to have in check. When the truth is ready to be reviewed, it'll be reviewed, okay? Yeah, they're worried because they're wanting to be able to keep you stuck, keep you trapped, Hold on to something that belongs to you. Keep some type of information from making it to you. As you can see, you're supposed to receive some type of good news about work, right? Uh, but they're, they're worried about them not being able to keep you trapped or keep this news hidden. So it could also be about like a position or some type of... Let, let's say you're in a company. I'm just using this as an example. And you have someone that's been in the company for like 30 years or something. And they're retiring. And they see that you're very hardworking and they decide to have their position passed on to you. Because some companies do operate like this, believe it or not. So they see that you're very hardworking, you're very like welcoming, nurturing, all of that care about your job, very passionate. And you may be someone they find to be very inspiring, right? So they're retiring and they decide they want their position to be passed on to you. There could be some type of hierarchy or seniority thing that's going on in this com company. Uh, but... They see you as, you know, a genuine energy and they want to pass your position down to you. But there's somebody within this company that's been there longer than you that don't want you to have, have that position. You know, one, because they said they've been there longer than you have. Two, it has something to do with your color. 
since the person I'm seeing, it, I'm being told it's a queen of swords reverse. It has something to do with some type of prejudice as well or elitism or something like that. So the, this queen of swords reverse goes out of her way to create a smear campaign to make sure that you don't receive this position. Like this person defends you in like the worst way possible. Tell people that you're mentally unstable or something just so that you're not considered for this position. If you're supposed to receive some type of letter, she blocks the letter. So that means that she's invading your privacy by reaching out to family members and things like that. Or even if you're supposed to receive some type of message, like letter or email within this company, she's blocking all of those information. So you've never received any type of correspondence, any type of, uh, of information about this position, about this abundance, this inheritance whatsoever. May even be like pretending to be you through emails and text messages and phone, however, phone calls or whatever, just trying to make sure that you do not receive any information about this position, this abundance, whatever it is. So someone is very desperate behind the scenes to keep something going. It could be some type of play on mental about loyalty like oh you vouch that you will never you you vouch your loyalty to us how are you um now recanting what it is it's not loyalty this is dark uh this is blind loyalty this is dangerous this is something that's going to be reviewed re regardless this is not something that's going to be hidden and there's a queen of swords behind the scenes that knows queen of swords reverse that knows that she's in for a tower something is about to be really like horrible for her that's taking place uh she may be feeling real desperate right now um just just very desperate to keep the truth hidden and i told you there is to keep the truth hidden keep you from confessing keep you from doing the right thing keep you from taking some type of chance in life keep you from moving on and things like that okay it's to keep you from just balancing a situation out because it's like she's worked worked so hard to, to lie all this time and you may have taken an oath or something um to keep this this lie going keep this defamation going so you probably jumped on the bandwagon and said oh yeah 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 maria is incompetent oh yeah maria did steal this maria did do this did do this she is pretending she's not that smart she's da da and, you know, eventually, the you know, the truth comes out. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. You're trying to keep the truth from coming out, but you got the pitch of, sword, pitch of cups to the ace of swords. It's going to come out either way. The truth always comes out. And sometimes it's something that's done accidentally, even by you, the one that's trying to keep the truth from coming out. So I don't even know what the point is of this. Something has been going on for a very long time. It's like a woman wants to be chosen for something, either she stole some type of, uh, I feel like she stole something like a, a, a position or some type of work opportunity, some type of abundance. And she has been feeling very much trapped, like some type of entrapment. You know, like when you do something really horrible, something bad, and it's sitting on your conscious. It, I don't even think she has a conscious, but it's just more so of the fact that she feels trapped because she knows she's going to get caught. But in the meantime, she's trying to prevent herself from being caught, being exposed, and things like that. So there's some type of agreement between a group, a very select, small group of people within a company to keep something amongst them. But it's coming out of, listen, it's coming out. Someone is going to be walking away, and that is your justice. Something, something that's been done to an uh, innocent energy is injustice. And I think you know that. You've known that for a long time. But you've been refusing to listen to your intuition, King of, uh, King of Pentacles. Exactly. So whoever it is the, the injustice was done to is a Queen of Pentacles. It's a Queen of Pentacles. They're trying to keep the truth about a Queen of Pentacles from coming out. And while they're doing it, they're causing this person a lot of burdens behind the scenes, interfering with your finances and things like that, trying to keep them in a stalemate. Trying to keep them from healing, self-actualizing, trying to keep them from moving on and things like that. Trying to keep them from uh, receiving any type of generosity from people. Trying to keep them from getting into connections, having love. Like just invading someone's private life in every way, shape, you know, and form you can think of. Uh, but the whole time they're telling you about loyalty, loyalty. Lo what kind of loyalty is that? Why is the loyalty dependent on you destroying somebody else's life? 
Why? Like someone is just out here very angry. Like she, this woman is going within, but she's angry, bitter, jealous about the truth coming out about the Queen of Pentacles. It's still coming. It's still going to come out. There's nothing this Queen of Pentacles has to do for the truth to come out. The truth naturally always comes out. I'm telling you, the truth always naturally comes out, and judgment has been made. And it's in favor of this, of this queen of uh, pentacles. It's a queen, king of swords, so you may want to be careful. Be very careful. I don't know if it's the same person, king of swords, king of pentacles energy. Be very careful, because these people, yeah, ten of pentacles, I'm telling you. There is something where these people have been causing you blockages so that you do not acquire a ten of pentacles. Something you've probably built by yourself or something you are in the process of building. They've been destroying and they don't want people to find out that it was created by you. I'm talking about you went from the freaking eight of pentacles, which means that you put in a lot of work into whatever this is. Nine of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles is already out here. Queen of pentacles, ten of pentacles. That means that you are someone that built. So they're trying to keep this very stagnant. They don't want it being successful and you the king of pentacles you know what it is they're doing but you've been choosing to turn a blind eye and i don't think it's that you don't know oh your intuition didn't tell you the truth you know very well what has been going on but you've been choosing to look a, a pit uh stay stuck in the illusions but the universe is not letting you it's like every time you try to pretend like it's not what you think it is or what they're telling you it is they do something to reaffirm it yeah they cause some type of problem expose some type of conflict or something to you it's like you it's like the truth being bold in your face but you're trying to act like it's not there so the universe keeps like smacking you on your cheek it's like they put the truth here you try to look that way they smack you back that way so you can look at the truth is that the truth is right here and you're going to see it we're going to keep showing it to you until you take action to do the right thing like some somebody not somebody. It's a group behind the scenes that they're just, it, it's, it's just sad and pathetic to see people, especially of this age, in this kind of energy. It's just really pathetic. And there's a woman within a community that's causing problems too for people. It's that they want to be able to move on with their life. They want to fix the situation. Um, but there's something, some type of mind game someone is doing within a community. That someone is very, it could be this queen of swords reverse. That she's playing mind games with people. Excuse me. And people don't know that. And she's turning people against each other. And people don't know that. So, I don't know what, yeah. She is playing mind games with people. Maybe trying to play with a, a, a king of a, a king of swords who's in the upright. This man is very much protected. He's in the upright character, solid as a rock. Trying to play mind games on him, manipulate him, isolate him, and things like that. There's something where a masculine is finding out that there are no friends within a company. There's no friendship. There's no loyalty, really. There's no genuinity. Genuinity. Thank you. Lord have mercy. Within a company. Uh, and maybe you and this queen of pentacles may have worked together and... Maybe you saw this woman as a problem because of maybe how she carried herself or maybe she said something to you and you thought she was the problem. But you're finding out why this woman was actually carrying herself the way she was. And there's something where it's like you're learning a lesson the hard way. But it all has to do, why they're doing this has to do with them stopping you from communicating with a queen of swords in the upright that maybe you see as wish fulfillment. There's a Queen of Swords also that's just, it's the Queen of Swords reverse that I'm picking up on. This woman is a narcissist. It's a waste of time trying to reason with this kind of person. They don't care. She already defamed somebody. She already lied on somebody. Already did a whole lot behind the scenes. I see someone like going to the extent of hosting a fake interviews with this person. It's like you leave somewhere. It's like, let's say... We got the nine of pentacles here. You're doing very well. 
right? You're someone that's a bit of a hermit. You keep to yourself, do your work at home. You're not really there trying to like mingle with too many people because you, you because you see that it's a lot of toxicity and things like that. So something starts getting really out of hand and you decide to cut your losses and move on, right? Move on away from the situation, heal. Maybe you start working and you decide, you know, I'm going to stay with this company. But then this Queen of Pentacles, before you even acquire this position, maybe you apply to other, not the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Um, it's the one doing the ridiculous stuff. So the Queen of Pentacles, before you start this position, you, you apply to other jobs. What this woman is doing is invading your privacy in a way where she's seeing the jobs that you're applying to, the uh, companies that are reaching out to you, and she's intercepting those and setting up like fake interviews. She's the one asking the question, so she may like black out a screen, has another person helping her, she's asking the question, and the other person's supposed to be the face of the company uh, as far as this interaction between you two. Um, and it could be something also where it's like you do a Zoom call with her, it's not like a video call, it's a phone call, but it's the Queen of Swords reverse. Like someone is that immature, like, and she has gone to this extent uh, to hide something that she has done. And it's just, it's really pathetic because I'm not picking up on somebody that's like young, vibrant or something. This is someone that's older than you. This is someone that's older than you and all she does is manipulate. And she's trying to manipulate a King of Swords, I think King of, Pent King of Pentacles energy. Like someone has gone to a far extent. They have even tried to get you locked up with the help of a community or a family, uh, cause you legal issues, trying to look into your paperwork and things like that to see if there's any type of problem she can stick to you so that, let's say you're like an immigrant or something, uh, hopefully you have your papers and things like that, like you're here on a visa or something like that. You, there's something where it's like these people are trying to find something to stick to your record so that you're not able to get your visa renewed. If you're applying for citizenship, you're not able to be qualified for that. There's something very malicious these people are doing. Very malicious. Uh, and your income being tempered with is just the tip of the iceberg, but something is going to be exposed. And when it's exposed, there will be nowhere for these people to run or hide. It's something like very, like this. Something is bigger than what people think it is, and this is why they're so desperate to hide the truth, to stop people from bringing some type of justice into a situation. It's very dark and insidious. Like, the, whatever tower is coming out about these people, uh, to these people, is going to be like, like this. They consider it crushing. Crushing. Because one, they're going to find out you're healed, you're still balanced, someone still loves you. But because this, these kind of people, what they do is they isolate you from the world. Can't call, can't text, can't do nothing. Don't want nobody loving you, wants you out in the cold. Okay, five of, five of cups of the five of pentacles. Want you isolated, rejected, out in the cold, possibly living in poverty uh, for as long as possible. If it could be for the rest of your life, they will, they will love that. Okay. A lot of just toxicity and unhealthy situations for you, okay? Uh, so this is how they do, try to isolate you so then the world can forget about you. They say, oh, we're going to keep doing this. Eventually, he will give up, she'll give up, and people will forget about them. But they say, you're not going away. You're not going away for them. Um, you're not going to deem your life for them because these are people that are insecure. And these will be people that will go out of their way to cause all of these problems for you. But if you say something, they don't like how you talk. They don't like what you're saying. And they say, what is that? What? Like, you're the criminal here. You're a criminal. And you have a problem with how somebody talks or how somebody carries themselves. You're the criminal, not the other person. You need to be worried about that log that you have in your eye, not the plank that's in somebody else's eye. So it's something, it's like that hypocrisy. These are a bunch of hypocrites working together to cause problems for somebody else. Uh, somebody may have even gone, because I've been seeing the, queen, the King of Cups quite a lot, trying to find somebody. It's like he's trying to make his way back to you. This woman or this community may have even partnered up with either a, old, a lover of your or ex of yours, a family member, could be a brother, cousin, whoever. And that person took the bait. So they've been working with this family against you for a very long time. And maybe you didn't know, but whoever it is trapped themselves with this, comp uh, this family, this company. 
probably made some false uh, promises to him or gave him some uh, a, 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 a hefty payout or something. Probably misused that money. It's long gone and he's trapped with these people and has to keep doing something. Uh, it started off with him being forced to do it, but now he's just, he or she is just, I'm saying he because I keep seeing a king of cups, so it could be a woman as well. But they're basically bitter, angry and bitter at this point because one, they can't come back to you. You're not interested in going back to the past. You may know what it is they did to you, um, but they're trying to force their way into your energy and they say, no way, not in any realm are we going to be together. It's something like that. But whoever this is, whether it's a lover, ex-lover, brother, cousin, whoever this familiar is, took a bit, took some type of bribery. Um, and it has come back to bite him in the behind. Because once the truth is being seen about you, this will even be somebody that went to the extent of, due to the fact that he formed some type of alliance with these people, started telling lies on you, that you were maybe an unfit parent. You didn't take care of yourself. You had poor hygiene as a woman. Like, I can hear a masculine voice just telling a bunch of lies to people so that they can see you in a very despicable light, Right? Because he needs to, he needs to prove himself to these people that he is loyal to them. Mind you, this is someone you were probably loyal to, right? The one loyal person he had in his corner, he has gone out of his way to destroy and things like that. So it's something where he felt like he had to prove that he was actually working with them, not against them. And it has led to him being trapped with these people. They may not even have use for him anymore. So he may just be doing something out of bitterness because he has basically let himself lose everything. It's just like having a ten of cups. This is what this masculine had, a ten of cups. And somebody from, uh, let's say again, being a family, because this is how these people move, like mobsters. Uh, they approach him and give him some type of offer, proposal or something. Like, we need you to side with us, uh, support us, and say that she's mentally unstable or, you know, something is wrong with her. She's a liar, misrepresents herself, and things like that. We need you to give her, give us information that we can use on her. So this man then goes out of his way to start finding all kinds of information, giving these people, like, your, your private uh, info and things like that. Maybe you have diaries and things like that. He's giving them your diaries or reading your diaries to them or taking pictures of stuff and giving it to them, trying to make it seem like you're just deplorable. You don't take care of yourself. Your house is not clean and things like that. It is somebody, let's say you're, let's say you, typically us Africans, we clean every Saturday. Let's say you clean every Saturday, right? But it's maybe Wednesday of the week and the kids maybe have made a mess that it's not really, you know, something that is that big of a deal, you'll get to it on Saturday, right? Maybe you tidy up here and there as you go throughout the week, but, you know, it's just not something that is urgent for you to address. What this person would do is take a picture of that and send it to these people and say, see, I'm telling you, she doesn't even clean up after herself. Like, somebody's mind is very deplorable, uh, very sick, um, someone may even have some type of mental illness and things like that. And he's still like failing to learn the lesson in what it is he's done to himself. Right now, somebody may not even realize that he's done something. He has like undone himself. Like how many people do you know have a 10 of cups? This is not something that's very common. 10 of cups on the way to the 10 of pentacles is what this man had. And he relinquished all of that because, uh, Family came to him, again, being a family, came to him and told him, hey, we'll give you this amount of money, but we need you to keep doing this to this Queen of Cups. Uh, we need you to uh, uh, support us with defaming her, slandering her, destroying her. We need people to believe that she's unfit for this position, this abundance, this inheritance. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this man, when you weren't around, he would have been calling these people, telling them all kinds of stuff, just to prove that he's loyal, that he's doing what he said he actually would. Something like that. And he is living in fear, darling, because you got options coming in. And he's been causing a lot of illusions about you, and you're going to be seen. Is that people saying, like, I also hear people, I also hear someone saying that, oh, she's sick. She's not doing well. She's out in the cold homeless or something. She she wasn't she didn't become anything. It's what they're telling these people. 
But a whole community is either finding out or is about to find out that it's all a lie. Listen, it's all a lie because you're out as the empress. It's all a lie. This was a, a like a huge collaboration. And if somebody is investigating this, I don't know if they realize how, how huge this collaboration was and how far these people went. People have probably even tried to temper with your health. Have you like sick, taken out or something like that just so that this narrative can stick. That, oh, she was a drunk. Oh, oh she was this and she was that. She didn't take care of herself. She slept around and things like that. Oh, she da-da-da-da-da. Because if you end up passing away, their narrative is, is able to stick. They're able to tell people, yeah, probably passed away from drinking, probably passed away from doing drugs. Meanwhile, you don't even drink. You don't do drugs. You're not an alcoholic, nothing. Maybe somebody told somebody that you're an alcoholic, but you're not. <laughs> Something is going to be exposed. Someone is crying. They're jealous. They're uh, pissed off. Uh, about a queen of wands. Like you're still coming up as a queen of wands. You're going to be getting married. You're going to be having some type of very uh, 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 influential position in your life. Or you're going to be very affluent and influential. Could end up being the leader of a community or something of that nature. People are very pissed off. There could be a higher fan that's deciding to balance something out as well. People are very worried about this person coming towards you. Maybe this is a higher fan that does things in the upright. It's choosing to do things in the upright. And it's like, oh, I see what it is that you all have been doing. Okay? I see what it is. That they're trying to keep a, man a manipulate. There's a dark institution that's trying to keep a manipulation going on. And it's being balanced out. Like, they're trying to keep, man, they're trying to keep you from being able to heal. From some from somebody working, they're trying to keep your, this could be a higher level soulmate or this could just be someone that's in the upright. The, the institution is trying to manipulate him, isolate him, keep him away from you. Hopefully not trying to bring him legal issues and things like that, but he's protected. This is somebody that's secure. If you're in this energy, you're naturally protected. But don't don't take your protection for granted. Always be uh, very vigilant. I mean, like, this is somebody, like, come on. Eight of Pentacles is a source. Temperance energy. That is somebody that's very disciplined, very secure, skilled, straightforward, very authoritative, but in the good, good way, assertive, right? Uh, very sharp as well. Very intuitively guided, guided by the universe. This is somebody that is guided by a higher force that these people would never understand. And you're more than likely like this person. You two are similar, right? And this is someone before you even speak, they more than likely know what it is you're going to say. They have the information, but they'll still sit down and listen. To, like, this is somebody that self-actualizes 24-7. So before you even fix your mouth to lie to them, they already know what it is you're about to say. Like, someone is, like... I don't know who this is. This could be this eight of pentacles to the eight of swords to the temperance. This could be like a genius that's walking amongst people and they don't even know it. And they're trying to keep, try, trying to confuse him. You ever, like, you know, like, <laughs> these people are like an open book test to this man. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's an open book test for him. Yeah. Exactly. King of Pentacles. They're trying to confuse you. The truth is out. You're a King of Pentacles. There is another King of Pentacles in that community that's in the reverse. Or this could be the excess of King of Pentacles reverse. They've all been working together. All been working together. Like whoever this man is, then I say he, he's very like smart. He's being practical. This higher level person don't got to be a soulmate. It can just be someone that does things in the upright. He's very practical. This could be like a business owner or something. I don't know since he's showing up as a king of pentacles. Exactly. I'm telling you. This man is going. Come on. Eight of cups. This is somebody. That, didn't I just say it? Before you even talk to him, he knows what it is you're saying. Eight of cups. Self-actualizing. So he already knows. He's. This is someone very practical. 
I, like I see somebody even just going along with what you're saying just to maintain the peace because he's just kind of done with the conversation. But he'll just listen to you. And he also knows how to kind of end, end it with you. Like someone is, oh man, that's, that's the kind of mind to have. Sure. Like this man is leaving. And he's being protected too as he's leaving. Thank you. Yeah, he's leaving to follow his passion, his dreams, and things like that. And you got somebody out here that's very angry. Okay, very sick to their stomach about it, losing it. The institution is, is upset. There could be a queen of wands in his background that's upset that he's balancing something out, he's moving on, or he's fixing something. It's a lot of distance between you and this king of cups I'm picking up on as well. It's like you don't want nothing to do with this person. Like, you could even, this king of cups could even be, like, heartbroken about the still makes the blockages and things like that that they've been doing to you because they're finding out that you didn't do anything to these people. It's all been based on a lie. But remember, he helped order this lie, went all out against his own empress. But now this contract is over. So because he knows the contract between you and him is over, oh, he's, he's mad. He's mad. He may even be mad that he's not able to stop you. Maybe they've been trying to steal something from you. That he's mad about the wrong reasons, basically. Yeah, I said steal, right? They're mad because they're not able to steal something from you. And it's something, this ten of Pent Queen of Pentacles to so the Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, this is something you work very hard. It is hard to acquire. This is not something where you like you fall into it. It's like, oops, I, fall, I fell into a Ten of Pentacles. No, this is something that takes labor, lots of work, lots of commitment to get to that Ten of Pentacles. And he has been helping these people uh, destroy it or try to steal it, diminish it or something. What I just heard is that your Ten of Pentacles is not going anywhere. There may even be something else added to your Ten of Pentacles. You're, you're about to be so successful, it's going to be ridiculous. This person may end up even needing your help. The people within this collaboration are going to end up needing your help and things like that. Uh, they're trying to cause... It's like I just heard they're trying to cause enough stagnation to the point where they're able to steal something. The universe that they're not stealing it, whatever they're trying to steal, you are, it is protected. You are secure. It's that people trying to deem you unfit for something, but they're trying to steal it at the same time because they see the value in it. It's that which one is it? Exactly. Collaboration over. Which one is it? Are they unfit or are they, you know, the bee's knees? Which one is it? Because you can't be saying that somebody is mentally ill, but then you're trying to steal something that they've created. Make it make sense. The logic is not logic, in, is it? You said somebody is mentally ill. They don't deserve to have something. They didn't. They, something that's not authentic. It's not original. But people do. They're looking into stuff and find out it's actually authentic. It's original. Someone is actually freaking brilliant. But the whole time you're defaming them and slandering them, you're trying to take exact that very thing that you don't want them to have. What kind? What is that? They may have even tried to offer this man, who whoever this uh, upright person is, this temperance energy is. They may have tried to offer him some type of contract that was going to bind him. And he maybe thought about it and said, mm -mm, I'm good. Because it's out here in the reverse. Maybe he, I don't know if he collaborated with them in the past or he's just balancing something out. There's some type of fall from grace for these people that's coming. They won't even be expecting it. They're still out here investing in taking you down, trying to stop people from leaving and things like that. Why do, like, it's a lot of fear and anxiety going on behind the scenes. Because something is being balanced out. That group is about to be dismantled. I'm telling you. Okay? Yeah, they were trying to cause you a tower, and somebody is fixing it. There's a tower coming for these people. Hmm. Hopefully... Something I heard is that they may be making a deal. Since this King of Pentacles wants to come to you, this this is something they may try to do is make some type of unholy deal with him. 
okay? They may try to make some type of unholy deal with him in regards to you. Like, hey, since you're still deciding to go to this person, we were wondering if you would give us access to their lives so we can keep seeing them. Oh, we were wondering if you can give them like a fictitious job position. Oh, we were wondering if you can get in a partnership with them, make them think you love them when you marry them or something. Uh, you can start uh, beating on them or something. It's some type of uh, like insidious uh, agreement or contract deal they, they want to make with this man. Very insidious. Exactly. Wish fulfillment. Oh, that man, that king of cups is wishing for you. Hoping that you will reconnect. No. <laughs> it ain't happening. This family is unable to move on. They're not acquiring something. These people have caused themselves a lot of problems and things like that. They're going to be dreaming and hoping for the longest time to have some type of interaction with you, uh, to mint things with you, because something is about to be balanced out. These people have been trying to cause you some type of tower. And there's something where it's that you have a few masculines within a collaboration that don't want to let something go, but they're going to have to. Like, but whatever is coming for these people is so horrible. Let me in. It's horrible. Someone may end up homeless, going to the penitentiary, losing everything, divorce, all kinds of stuff is about to happen to these people. And you know why it's happening? It's because these are the things that they were trying to manifest for you. It's like they were being given time to let go of something or to learn the lessons that they were supposed to learn. But these kind of people, they refuse to learn. One, because they got money and they have numbers, so they feel invincible. They say, yeah, 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 there he goes again, there she goes again, speaking her, uh, do better when you know better or do the right thing. People like these, they don't listen. They have to learn through, learn things the hard way. So they have to learn through experience, and that's exactly what's about to happen to them. They are about to learn through experience that, that, that one, uh, leave people alone. Two, Life is not how you want it. It's not supposed to be how you want it for other people. Like, you live your life, leave other people to live their life. You don't have any authority to make decisions in other people's lives, other people's lives. Just because, one, you're prejudiced, two, you're an elitist, you're insecure, because that's what I'm getting, especially with this Queen of Swords in reverse. That, this woman is so insecure. It don't even make, it should be a crime to be this insecure. Uh, about other uh, the woman yourself and like someone is insecure like whoever is in these females in this collaboration the level of insecurity is bothersome it's sickening because there has to be some type of aspect of why they're this like just persistent when it comes to trying to destroy someone it's not just we're trying to keep a secret it's the fact that they have some type of animosity towards you. It's what it is. It's like they have a lot of self-hate for themselves, but they're projecting that onto you. It could be like a queen of pentacles wanting to come towards somebody. No, no, no. That ain't your friend. But you collective, you're secure. You may be receiving something, and you're going to be able to move on, which is going to protect you because there's some type of tower these people were trying to cause you in some uh, something. It's like they've been doing something repeatedly. It's that we're going to do this. Like, you know, like, someone thought, a group thought that they were in some type of war with you. So they were dismantling your options one at a time from behind the scenes. So... Things would have been happening randomly and you weren't supposed to know that it was them. But with that ace of swords out here, you you it, you knew exactly who was doing what. And this is what these people are afraid of as well. That you know every single person that was doing something. What they were doing, when they did it, how they did it. Things like that. So it's like if something goes to court, you're able to identify who is who what they did, more than likely why they did something, okay? Whatever it is they did. So it's like you, these people start doing something uh, and it's it's not getting any better. It's that like you're doing something, trying to get a result out of it, but you're not getting the result that you want out of it. Uh, so you think you, you should keep going. It's that like the longer we keep going, 
then uh, she's finally, she's eventually going to let go, give up or something. But it's like, no, nobody is giving up. Like, these, these aren't people that give up because whatever it is that they're going through is more than likely part of their contract. And it's supposed to be there to wisen them up, strengthen them, and things like that, right? Because that's how you learn your learn to to balance your emotions. So while this person is improving, getting stronger, getting better, and things like that, these people are digging a deeper hole for themselves, and they don't understand that these are people that don't know how to self actualize or hate the uh, the factor of self actualizing. They don't like people that do that because. They're one-sided, one, one, one track mind or whatever they call it. Very small-minded, unable to introspect uh, thoroughly like they're supposed to. The only time they introspect is when, you know, some type of money is involved. Is that, can I, am I going to uh, be able to buy that shoes or something? Like, it's very financially motivated for them. But there's some type of sickening manipulation they've put within this collaboration where it's that, oh, it's about loyalty and principle. It ain't about none of that. There are no friends. Whatever. <laughs> These people came out in the reverse for a reason. There are no friends. These are people that are overcritical of others. And each other. So there is no friendship. Nothing. Okay. There are no friendships. There are no sincere connections here. Nothing. It's all people just having some type of hate towards another person. That's all it is. Okay. Anyways, collective, let's let, let, look at that, okay? Truth is out <laughs> about these people trying to stop you, stop your investments, stop your love offers. Look at them living in fear, still trying to cause illusions about your options and things like that. You got options coming in and you will be seen and successful. Look at you, determined as can be. Your determination <laughs> is a problem for these people because they're not able to uh, sabotage a union, a meeting, a connection, a soul connection. So, baby, please. It is going to happen. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.